Hi everybody, I'm Peter from Offro Electric. Welcome back to the channel that is about building a two-motor extreme off road monster truck from two Tatras and two Teslas. And this is episode 46. Sponsored by our wonderful Patreon patrons team. Thank you very much guys for helping this channel. If you would like to join us, there is the link down below. Yesterday off camera, I spent hours and hours of measuring and calculating the way how actually I'm going to cut those tubes. And uh, as I mentioned a little bit before, we have to integrate the differential uh, from this uh, the second, uh, second tube into this position over here. Then we have to integrate the steering, uh, the steering mounting point. Uh, you can see the steering over here. And also we have to integrate pretty much, uh, let's say another locker, which is located over here on the T-case. And everything else, everything uh, what I just mentioned, we need to put into this tube and we have to make it as short as possible so we will take off take out this part of the tube everything must be precise as much as possible because here is no place for error at all if you look at here over here we are going to cut this tube so we must be sure that these flanges over here they will be exactly line up the way against each other they are so they cannot be twisted either way so I will first I will I will run the lines over here to make sure that uh, these bolts on this side and the holes for the bolts on this side are perfectly lined up It's perfect. Okay, and let's start cutting. First, we are going to start with the front of the, of the tube and we are going to make cut somewhere over here. I will measure the distance from the end. Then I am going to wrap the tube with this vinyl tile. <laughs> it's, it's pretty convenient to use it. And we will make the mark around the, the tube as precise as possible and then cut it. This cut must be first. Okay guys, we got the first big cut over here. I don't know exactly what is the thickness of the tube. Let's measure it. Okay, something about eight and a half. There is some groove there. It appears like eight and a half millimeters thick. This information is not anywhere. So we are going to obviously keep for now <laughs> most of this part. We will get rid of this one. We will keep this one. Next step is to measure the how close I can put, how close to this edge I can put that T case at the back. Because we have the mounting point over here over here mounting point 
for that steering and it obviously moves this way and that way and we don't want uh, that steering would hit that T case over there. So we will measure now how close I can get with the T case to this, to this mounting point. Okay guys, I mounted a tube and steering to the axle. Connected the steering rods to the steering arms for the all we uh, bo uh, each wheel. And uh, <coughs> this distance is going to be changed because the differential, the lockable differential we are going to use is over there and it's a little bit longer. But this is the last time I can actually adjust and f find out uh, how short a distance the T case can be because as you can see the steering main arm uh, can interfere with that uh, in, the, in, the, uh, in the edge, in the maximum positions on each side. So we'll see how it will work. Okay guys, I located exactly the spot where the T case is going to be. This seems to be like the furthest point the steering mechanism goes, which gives me this distance over here a little bit longer than it really has to be, like two inches, five centimeters longer, which is not really anything what I can do about without major modification of steering which I'm not going to do. So we are going to cut this piece, the second piece of this tube, this one, uh, exactly to the length of uh, to this distance over here and uh, then we are going to connect the motor, the Tesla motor to this input which is original input from the transmission, Tatra transmission and uh, the last thing is uh, you might uh, be asking me why we are cutting and shortening this tube because if we don't do that the tube will be in this distance and we will have very small ground clearance in the middle of the vehicle. Uh, and especially under the belly of a huge vehicle, there is the ground clearance is the most needed over there. So we are going to do, uh, we are going to put the next tube, uh, actually this will be the first like front, front part of the vehicle and exactly the same thing will be for the rear. Uh, we will connect it with the tube but it will be uh, located in this spot over here, over here somewhere. So you will have a huge ground clearance between the middle of the vehicle, under the middle of the vehicle and the ground. <coughs> really, really, I, I think it's like two and a half feet or something like that. Uh, so that's exactly what you need uh, if you have a large off-road vehicle. So let's continue.
Okay guys, I'm getting there. I just dis uh, disconnect this part of the tube and we are going to put it here exactly into this gap for the cylinder which was before for engagement or disengagement of the front axle in the original Tatra. We are still going to keep it there because if I have some uh, like mechanical failure and I need to be towed or something else, I need to disconnect uh, the motor otherwise it would be hard to tow the vehicle. That's why we keep it there. That's amazing guys, I just cut it there and fill up that gap over here. It fits perfectly the way it should and we still have the clearance over here, maybe one and a half centimeter, some, something like that, so it will never hit. And now we are going to cut this part of the tube over here and replace it with this part of the tube over here. Because here sits the lockable in a differential and there was the uh, open differential. You can take a look at the difference on them. What is the difference? This is obviously the front one and this is the rear one. So this one is a little bit bigger. We need to make that space over there a little bit bigger. So we are adding about perhaps two inches over here in the distance. It means we have to extend these rods which is not problem, it's minor, it's minor modification. Let's go. Wow, I cut piece from the rear tube, this piece over here, from that piece over there, that small one. And uh, this piece is going to replace this piece over here we need to cut. You can see it's a little bit bigger uh, as uh, the differential is bigger, but also the differential in this uh, uh, rear tube was a little bit inside so what I actually can have to do <coughs> is to cut it somewhere here take probably like two inches out make it smaller then uh, that uh, differential will look a little bit outside of the tube the way I need and then we will replace uh, replace it here we will cut it here and this will replace that I can also cut probably a little bit more here as I can see that clearly now when it's cut here is too much space I can actually make it shorter every inch counts and uh, you can see the differential actually is placed on this precisely uh, done smooth surface that's where it, it's pressed into it and the bolt over here and on the other side actually holds it in, in a place. But all of that will be done next time. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. If you, like, uh, if you would like to support this channel, there is the Patreon link down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time. More of epic stuff is coming.